Steelers.com. AM 1220KHTS, your hometown station. Make sure you go to hometownstation.com for all the latest and greatest Santa Clarita has to offer. And uh, speaking of the greatest, I just got yeah. a present. That, no, we're not talking about oh. Jesse. We're not talking about Jesse. Jesse's not one of the greatest. Uh, I just got a present from uh, an individual who will be at the KHTS Home and Garden Show, uh, and it's a wooden tool. Toll. A toll, excuse me. Oh, good heavens. Wooden toll. And uh, good thing I you know, know how to read. Um, and uh, we have Jim McGuire. Jim, how are you? I'm doing great, Kyle. Thank you very much. Yeah, and thank you. I'm going to hold this up. I'm going to hold it up to the camera, and you can see my name is in wood. You can see it. Thank you. So I appreciate you bringing that. So uh, I want to talk about, yeah, the, you brought in some of your, your artwork as well, um, but what? how did you get into woodworking? Basically about 30, 32 years ago, I was at the L.A. County Fair, and there was a fellow demonstrating scroll saws, and they just really looked interesting, and... I bought one, and they sent it to me. It was a U.S.-made one out of Missouri. And I just sort of self-taught over the years, been doing it for 35, 36 years, and just having a, a lot of fun doing it. It's an enjoyable hobby, and uh, you know, just keep getting a little more creative in what I do and having a lot of fun with it. Is there something, certain things that you, mm -hmm. uh, like when you first started, uh, your your first thing you ever made. What do you remember? What it was? Uh, exactly what I gave you. I cut somebody's oh, name for. Oh, okay. Awesome. And sort of started with that, and then I got into uh, doing a little line of children's clothes trees. Oh, cool. Then uh, some of the magazines came out and started to have a little more intricate patterns, things you could cut. The first extremely intricate pattern I ever did was a wolf head. Uh, as a matter of fact, I still cut that one and show it at craft and art fairs. Nice. People like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Jesse, did you? What, so, when was the moment that you made something? You're like, I think, I think I got this. I think I'm good at this. Uh, I think gradually over the years, I kept getting better and better, and I could see myself improving in what I was doing. And I would get more involved in more complicated uh, cuttings, and then I expanded from using plywood to getting various types of wood with the. Uh, natural edges on them from oak poplar matter of fact at the woodworking show down in orange county this past weekend i picked up uh, a piece of eucalyptus uh, lace uh, eucalyptus great red color to it and uh, i'm really looking forward to doing something with it uh, we just took a recent trip back to the midwest visited uh an aunt of mine who's 101 in iowa wow. And on the way back, I sort of scheduled our trips. I looked for sawmills and stopped at a place in New Mexico, and the fellow specialized in cedar. So I wound up uh, with about 14, 15 different boards in the back of the van. <laughs> uh, just because you can't get cedar everywhere, and he just had some really lovely colors in it. So I thought, i, I got to be able to do something with this stuff. Did you did before you started doing woodworking? Were you were you did you do anything artistic at all? Did were you a painter or anything like that? Um, no, I uh, I just always enjoyed wood and making things and fooling around with it, a few basic tools and trying to figure out how to get a little better at it and pretty much more or less self taught everything I did. But uh, scroll sewing seemed to be something I could do and it didn't take a lot of various tools to do it. So, and it, it was a great stress reliever. I could go out in the garage, cut something, get my mind off of whatever else was going on, and uh, just concentrate on the cutting, and it was relaxing. And uh, you have a piece right here. Let's grab this one, the, the Long Beach one. Let's hold that up. And uh, this, this is, that is really, yeah, this really is, intricate. Uh, I had a request at a craft show from a fellow who asked me if I could do a red car, the old Los Angeles red car. So I went online with a couple of groups I belonged to, and a fella in uh, Brussels created this pattern for me. And that's sort of the, the benefit of the Internet. Here's, I'm in Los Angeles, this guy's in Brussels, and he created a pattern for me of a Los Angeles red car, which was part of the, uh, I guess from what I read about the red car, the largest uh, public transportation system in the world at the time it was here and operating. But I did this one uh, for, for a customer, for a request, and I entered it two, three years ago in the Orange County uh, Fair in the woodworking competition, and it's the first time I ever entered any kind of competitive event, 
And I was very fortunate in that I took a pl uh, first place with the red car cutting. Awesome. Which, you know, just re I was really stoked. I was fired up after yeah. that. It was like, That's a good wow. start. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> start. <laughs> yeah, they agree with me. I do good work. <laughs> yeah. Usually you go, usually the process would be, oh, I got seventh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm getting I'm getting better. But yeah. right out the gate, first place, you're like, yeah. oh, yeah, in the back. Yeah, yeah. I, I figured, you know, if they just hang it, I'd be, you know, that's yeah. good. <laughs> so, so rapid fire questions for you. What is the biggest? piece you've ever done uh the biggest piece i ever done actually i did in five parts and it's uh the big cats of the of the world it's lions tigers panthers and things like that and uh, i've i usually i figure the biggest things by the how many cuts i make in them and this particular piece has uh over 950 cuts almost a thousand individual cuts wow. and how many does so how many does the long beach one have Ooh. You know, I, I don't know. I, I sometimes okay. I mark the back of them. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes I don't. But it's bigger than that one, is what you're saying. Uh, no, the, the it's, cat one. It, it's yeah, it's physically bigger than that. Okay. And a lot more cuts than gotcha. this one. Okay. Uh, now, smallest one you've ever done. Uh, I've done uh, like little jewelry items. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, because with the scroll saw, you can you can do just about anything you want. Your only limitation really is the distance between the blade in the front and the back of the saw where it's held up. And um, on mine, that's about 20 inches. But over the years, I figured out how to do 22, 24-inch long pieces. Uh, you know, there's just how you turn them and spin them and, and that. And your favorite one of all time? Oh, probably a... a Right now, it's the one I won first place at the Orange County Fair with this year. It's called First Fathers. It's the uh, Mount Rushmore cutting, and it shows the four Indian chiefs below it, Sitting Bull, Geronimo, uh, Chief Joseph, and Chief Red Cloud. And uh, I really like this one. It's... Uh, on a piece of half-inch natural wood, bark is exposed at the top. They're speckling throughout the wood, and it's just a beaut. To me, it was a great piece of wood. I had it for a while and kept trying to come up with something for it. And then, then this pattern and the cutting of itself, and uh, I got a standing offer from a guy, even though I put not for sale on it at the Orange County Fair because you can advertise yeah. if you want to sell something or not. I put not for sale on it. And I still got an offer for it, and the guy I called the guy back, and I told him, you know, I really don't want to sell it just yet. He says, never mind, I understand. He says, it's beautiful. My wife's related to Red Cloud. We've never oh. seen him anywhere. He says, I really want it. When you're ready to let it go, just call me. Nice. <laughs> so, wow. I mean, you know, you talk about a, a nice feeling, you know, and if people really appreciate what you do. So uh, it really felt good. And it's right now, I'm not ready to part with it. It's sort of one of my favorites. I hear you. Understandable. So you said you've done this over 30 years, and my final question is, how many times have you cut off one of your fingers? <laughs> uh, no, actually, uh, no physical injuries <laughs> wow, from scroll right. sawing. Wow, impressive. Congrats. But uh, it's pretty hard to hurt yourself scroll sawing because the blades don't go that fast, and uh, it's just, you know, as long as you follow the lines, you you should be reasonably Easy safe. Yeah. I mean, it's not foolproof. <laughs> yeah. I was never good at coloring in the lines. So yeah, I'd say, yeah, I would stay away from woodworking. sharp things yeah. that uh, that you need to do. Yeah, uh, well, what makes the hobby interesting, you know, you talk about following lines or something like that. When you get done cutting and you take the pattern off the wood, nobody knows if you're staying on the line or not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. There <laughs> so, you go. You know, nobody, nobody can critique it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I have a, a question. What? Uh, so you can do this for anybody. You can you, oh, yeah, if they, yeah, you can do custom yeah. stuff. What what type of stuff do you offer for for people that want well, this type of work? Done? You know, basically when I do, we do about eight or ten art and craft shows a year, and uh, we've always done the Santa Cruz Art Fair, which is coming up the fifteenth and sixteenth of November, on Lions Avenue at Old Orchard Park, and that's it's one of my favorites because it's a hometown show. Sweet, but uh, I. Literally, I have every anything you want or anybody you want. I do portraits of actors, uh, movie stars, animals. Reality uh, TV stars? Uh, could we get one of Jesse's face is what we're asking. Sure, if I we, could if try. We, we can work I could try out. and do a custom portrait. I'm not real good at patterns, but I have a source. I've done oh, custom okay. work like that. Uh, I do a lot of welcome signs and things like this. I got a whole little line of welcome signs with bears, moose, deer, wolves and things like that uh 
a lot of folks up at uh, Fraser Park when I do the Fiesta days up there like that for their cabins. Yeah. And we've innovated on that. We've taken uh, Welcome Off and put a family name on it. One fella came up to me and saw one I had with a uh, two bears and a baby bear and says, can you make that two the two big bears, two baby bears, because I got two kids and I want my name, my family name where it says welcome. So, you know, that, that's like all of us. You know, sure, pretty much whatever you want. If I can do it, I'll do it for you. I like custom work because then I'm getting a little more creative and I'm doing something somebody actually wants. Yeah. It's not something I think they want. And that always works a little better because then I know that it's sold. I can guess what you're going to buy, but it's always more fun. And I know I got it sold if you give me a custom order. Awesome. And uh, you'll be at uh, the, the Fine Art Craft Show. Which I'm going to be at the Fine Art Craft Show, which is the 15th and 16th of this month, uh, a little bit over a week away from now. And that goes from 10 to 5 each day. And uh, as I understand it, I talked to Jeff uh, from the city, and uh, he says this year they're hoping to have a couple food trucks there, so there'll Sweet. be something for everybody. And they usually have between 50 and 60 art and craft people. So it's just a good, fun local event as long as the weather's nice. Awesome. We've been, we've been rained out once, but I don't think that's nah, going to happen I wouldn't worry about that this year. <laughs> uh, wooden Toll. Jim McGuire, thank you. You'll be at the Home and Garden Show as well, and you can see some of We'll post some of your work on our Facebook page as well. So uh, thanks for stopping by. You're welcome. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it.